हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन एंड नाउ वी आर बैक विद दिस सेगमेंट ऑफ सी बी एस सी टेंथ क्लास फाइव गोल्डन क्वेश्चन ना वाई एग्जैक्टली वी आर कॉलिंग दम गोल्डन क्वेश्चन रीजन इज सिंपल here we are going to explain you some questions from your sure shot topic sure shot topic means uh, you know uh, there are various topics in your course which are so important that you can say yes definitely we will get question from this particular topic or sub topic so our idea is not to say okay these questions you are supposed to get in your exams no not at all the idea is simple we just want to give you a feel that on these important topics you should devote some time fine so that uh, you can score much better marks uh, as you know in 2020 uh, there will be a few questions uh, in your class 10th uh, exam they will be objective type and then your uh, long answer short answer type of questions so here uh, i am explaining a mix of these type of questions fine so let's start the discussion with question number 1 now it's a very fundamental question the unit for expressing electric power so uh, it is your first chapter in which resistance uh, battery uh, and current flow heat generated charge all these things are explained so there are just few formulae so you know uh, the unit of power p is equal to i square r here the formula i'm just mentioning so that you can get a revision so the unit of power p is watt okay normally if you just pick any electric appliances maybe a tube light say for example placed over here so many or electric iron or you can say microwave or uh, you can say heater anything there you will find something mentioned as like this this w is what fine so the unit of electric power is what is after watching this video my suggestion is just uh, take a look of few appliances present in your home it may be electric iron it may be toaster it may be a uh, geyser or tube light anything so you will easily notice this w okay so it is what <coughs> so it was question number 1 then next question is from your natural resources topic fine which of the following is not a fossil fuel students uh, there are various type of uh, uh, energy resources present in your this chapter so fossil fuel is something that directly comes out by digging the earth fine so coal uh diesel petrol natural gas lpg that is uh, you use in your kitchen fine so they all are fossil fuel because they have been created by nature uh in long long years fine so coal fossil fuel petroleum gas you know it is also a fossil fuel because we get it from uh, your uh, oil fine then biogas what exactly biogas is biogas is something that is not fossil fuel fine uh, don't worry i'll also tell you one or two more lines on this biogas and then natural gas natural gas that uh, i'm sure you now uh, get uh, cng pumps almost every in every city compressed natural gas normally it is present in uh, uh, this godavari basin valley so this is also fossil fuel now biogas is something that is normally created by means of cow dung fine in villages there is one specific device you put the cow dung with water over there and there uh, after some time due to uh, activity of bacteria you will get a gas that is known as biogas it is also used for cooking so correct um, answer is biogas this is fossil this is fossil and this is also fossil fuel fine so it is your second question then from this objective uh, zone i am coming out now i am coming on to the short answer type question you have to write down maybe one or two words not more than that explain the law of connecting three resistances r1 r2 r3 in parallel uh, there are two mechanism mentioned in your this chapter uh, that is series that is parallel fine so i just picked one parallel now because it is a short answer type so you have to simply write down the formula fine nothing else is required 
short answer type only formula and if you think you can simply mention one sentence that I am going to write that is uh, I hope the question is now clear to you. So, please allow me to come over here and just I want to write down one or two lines. In parallel combination, <coughs> parallel combination, fine. R net, you know, R net is net resistance, is minimum minimum. This is the line, if you write down it, it will give the impression to the examiner that you have the clarity. And what is the formula that you are supposed to mention? R net okay, is equal to 1 upon R 1 plus 1 upon R 2 plus 1 upon sorry, 1 upon R 3. Fine. And then you put the values and then you can get the answer. So, if you write down this much and if you enclose this expression in a box, you are going to get full marks, fine. See, uh, do not waste your time. Say for example, in two marks question, you are supposed to write down only one line, just mention that one line, fine, you will get full marks. Otherwise, if you are keep on writing, keep on writing like that, it is of no use, fine. Now, question number 4. Well, uh, there are some long answer type question. So, question 4 and uh, 5 I placed in that category. Now, first is state two advantages and two disadvantages of producing hydroelectricity. Now, it is a long answer type question. So, I think you should mention few points. Actually, in this particular explanation, I will not write down the complete answer. Fine, it is available in our ebook. So, as and when required, uh, you can visit our website that is www.mizoestudy.com and from that particular website, you can get lot of uh, you can say courses, contact number of our helpline. So, from there you can get these materials. Uh, in short, I am just telling you what you are supposed to uh, provide. Say, uh, hydroelectricity means by constructing the dams, fine. Say, for example, Bhakranangal Dam, Tehri Dam, like that. So, there you have a big storage capacity of water, then you allow the water to fall on the turbine machine. So, what are the advantages? I am just writing down 2-3, uh, it is up to you, you can mention others also, but here just for symbolic representation, I am writing. Uh, positive aspect, positive aspects or advantages. So, first is no pollution, fine. See for example, in Bhakranangal Dam, what exactly is taking uh, happening? The river uh, Satlu's water uh, is uh, uh, directly coming onto the turbines and electricity generated. So, as such, no you can say fumes, no you can say coal burning, nothing like that. So, best uh, option, best example is no pollution. Number two, <coughs> control of flood fine because if lot of rain is happening so then you can store large amount of water in your catchment area so that way you can uh, reduce the possibility of flood so like that there are other positive aspects or advantages now i think i should mention also some negative aspects or disadvantages okay uh, every coin has two faces. It is not like that uh, any process with nature is only positive positive. So, please. So, negative aspect or disadvantages, disadvantages. Okay. Number one, the big disadvantage is loss of green cover. You know why? Say for example, in Uttarakhand, just few years back when Tehri Dam was constructed, entire 300 year old Tehri city was destroyed. Now, it is submerged under water, uh, under the water of Bhilangana, Bhilangana river. So, entire city, forest, ev everything is going to be. So, loss of green cover, forest TTC, B 
big problem. Next is uh, loss of many ecosystems. Ecosystem itself is a big term, fine. So, one city if lost, so with the, that associated city, all other things are also going to be. So, this way you can mention some negative aspects also, fine. So, this is one of the answer. Then, next question that also in the long answer category, that is a type of numerical from uh, your two chapters. One is your uh, reflection of light, another is refraction of light. So, a concave mirror, now uh, I think I should mention one important aspect over here, plane mirror is in your course, uh, concave mirror, convex mirror is in your lens, concave lens, convex lens is in your lens. So, I think uh, you should be slightly careful with these devices. A concave mirror produces three times magnified real image of an object placed at 10 centimeter in front of it. Now, the catch term is three times, fine. Where is the image located, fine. So, I think I simply mention the formula magnification m is equal to minus v by u, where see, uh, please, please uh, listen one thing, this is a long answer. So, when you write down the formula, you should also mention this way, where m is magnification, it is required magnification. If you will not write down like this about the formula, you will lose some marks. V lo, uh, position of image, position of image, image distance and similarly you should explain u also, fine. Now, after explaining this and uh, using this formula, what I can say, you should put the value fine. So, let us put the values. So, as per the question, as I marked it three times, 3 is equal to minus v by 10, because it is mentioned 10 centimeter. So, from here I can say minus 30 centimeter in front of, sorry, in left side, in left side. That is why this minus sign. Now, left side, right side means I am sure you have studied uh, this uh, coordinate system that is mentioned in your book, fine. So, it is somehow like this way, plus, 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 minus, minus, plus, minus, minus. So, in that reference, okay. So, in long answers, you have to uh, be careful and try to provide required information in the proper format. So, students, it was a small discussion, short discussion just to give you a feeling how you should prepare for your class 10th exams and which are some important topics. Best of luck from our side. Take care of yourself. Have a nice time.